Hello everyone. Myself Jyoti Mandala, working as Assistant Professor in GMR Institute of Technology. In this session, we will be discussing about Array of Structures in C Programming. Array is nothing but collection of one or more elements of same data type. Array is, array is defined as collection of homogeneous elements. Whereas structure is defined as a collection of one or more elements of different data types. So structure can also be defined as collection of heterogeneous elements. Now array of structure is nothing but uh, where in array individual element is of a structure type. Okay. Now this can be also called as structure array in C. Now how to where the array of structure will be used. Now we know a structure is used to store information of a particular object. But if you want to store hundred of such particular objects then we need to go to use the array of structures. So let us consider that object is a student. Now if you want to declare a structure student, struct student which is consisting of roll number, name, rank and branch now if you want to create 150 students let us consider as an example then individual element individual structure members should be declared like st1 st2 st3 and so on up to yes 50 right st50 now 50 uh, uh, structure uh, element variables are declared here now if you now this no but that is a big task that can be solved by using array of structures where the same structure is defined here now 50 elements 50 variables of structure are declared as an array like this where st is an array which is consisting of 50 objects and each object is of a structure student type and each object consisting of roll number name rank and branch now how to assign values to these uh, structure array of structures now compile time initialization if you consider the first student array in the, here the array is 50 that means it starts from st of 0 to st of 49 so individual elements st of 0 if you consider st of 0 consisting of roll number name rank and branch so directly we can assign the values using dot operator and this type of initialization is called as compile time initialization if you go if you want to take, assign values to second student st of 1 then we can use the same approach what we have used for st of 0 this is for first student and this is second student like that we can continue for up to st of 49 so 50 students we can assign individually at the compile but if you want to assign at runtime then we can use the scan of statement first we need to declare the student array of student structure st of 50 then we can use scan of statement and we need to use iterative statement called for loop so for loop starts from 0 to 50 and that means 49 times we want to run this scan of statement where st of i iterates from 0 to 14. So this one is for roll number, name, rank and branch. Scan of statement this is for runtime. Right? This is about array of structures. Thank you.